It's okay. What's the point of clinging to this if I'm doomed to be that? Huh. I don't know. When? Why wait? Let's do it now. I want the whole bob. Male pattern baldness, mm. stooped shoulders, Stop. haunch, Please. and the push broom on my lip. This is incredibly insulting. Think about how I feel. You really let myself go. Forget the restaurant, Bob. You're gonna be cursed no matter what. You might as well come support your daughter. And let's be honest, Dad. How much more cursed can you really get? What, is he gonna give you an even weirder body? Thanks, Louise. You got it. <laughs> Mom, a whole cantaloupe skin? You sure? I earned it. All I had for breakfast was kiwi fuzz. It's like licking your father's back. Ugh. Thanks, Lynn. What? I don't think so. We need your giant body to make the audience look fuller. But working girl's the film that inspired me to be anything I wanted to be. And so you're this? It is kind of a slow start to lunch today, huh? Yeah, it hasn't really been a great month. For your B.O.? No, for the restaurant. Because of your B.O.? No. Look, you know what's happening right now. She's cramped in a way too small space, nauseous from diesel fumes, and this guy's B.O. You just described her life with you. Please don't smash mirrors, because they don't deserve that. I mean, they taunt you every day, don't they? We're both just really excited, and we don't want to wait. Right. What's the point of waiting? Nobody gets better looking, huh? Right, Dad? Louise. 80 years of cheap thrills and almost no decapitations. Wow, that's such a low amount. I know. Can you believe it? She's lasted 80 years without getting sued out of existence or collapsing into the sea. That's what we say about Dad. Louise. You know, now I kind of regret not going to college. You regret not going to college? Come on, it's not like you ended up flipping burgers. Oh, wait. And let's get a few words with Bob the Slob Belcher. Hi. That's not my nickname. Well, it is now. Everyone heard it. Bob and I have a bit of a history, folks. I graciously allowed him on my morning talk show, and in turn, he got me fired. Uh, I didn't get you fired. Linda did. Hi, Chuck. So what stupid burger are you making, Bob? Okay, well, it's not stupid. It's smart. I call it the bet it all on black garlic burger. It's made Stupid with... name. What? Stupid name. <laughs> oh, my God. It's made with black garlic. Uh, it's a fermented garlic. It comes from Korea. Don't blame Korea for your stupid burger, Bob. Not fair to them or burgers. Uh, I'm not blaming the them. The stupid black garlic burger. Put it up on the screen. Oh, my God. So, Bob, you look sweaty. Think you have what it takes to beat the competition? I personally doubt it. I'm not sweaty. Oh, I am. Okay. i uh, just prepping. Normal. Everything's fine. We've got all our ingredients, Chuck. All of them. Unnecessary information. Totally boring. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Skip. Let's check in on Bob because we kind of have to. Lots of chopping. His bald spots getting bigger and shiny. Your hair probably falling out all over his food. What a disgusting creature. I'm catching all the hair before it even comes close to the food. God, it is coming out. Time's up. Hands off your meat, chef. We finished. We finished the burgers. Hooray for Bob. He managed to somehow do what he does every day for a living. What a champion. Bob, I've reconsidered. Maybe I could postpone the pool and the rent hike for a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. You'll be out of business by then, Bob. Don't worry. Our idea is going to get us more business on Sunday than you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You go, Dad. Our place will be packed and yours will be empty. <laughs> like Trev's soul. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah, it's cute that you think that, Bob. Almost as cute as your little cooking booties. <gasps> they happen to be clogs, Jimmy. Yeah, well, go back to Holland, you windmill. Ah. Oh, my God. That feels great. Bob! Uh, yeah? Are you still here? Um, yeah. What the hell are you doing? Uh, 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 nothing. I was just... You're gonna break uh. it. It's made for regular uh. people, not whatever uh. you are. Lynn, I just realized something. I had a bad childhood. Yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? Look at you. What do you mean look at me? Look at how you stand. People who had good childhoods don't stand like that. Ugh, the live turkeys are the worst. Those flesh mangling beaks and those beady eyes. Also, how can you trust an animal with a head that's that bald and tiny? I mean, we trust Dad. Yeah, that's true. Mm. We could just do this. <laughs> huh? Who's soft now, Louise? Your stomach, your butt, and your thighs. Come on, we'll role play. I'll be Jimmy and I'll insult Bob. Mm. Hey, I'm Bob. I cry at the end of every movie. Up top. Ah, cries. Not every movie. No, don't high five. Oh, right. But it's hard not to. It's like a, a reflex. It's okay. Let's try again. Oh, my God. I'm Bob. I was born with armpit stains. Zoom. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what are we doing? What is this? We're role playing. I'm pretending to be Jimmy Pesto making fun of Bob so Trev stops high fiving him. Can I play? Uh, it's not really a game. It's just. I'm Bob. I look like a dog from the 70s. Up top. Dog! 
No. Uh, I'm Bob. My barber can't decide when my neck hair ends and my back hair begins. Uh, no uh, high five. Oh, I can't. I just mm. can't. I'm Bob. I'm scared of long hugs. Uh, I don't want to hug you. That's not scared of long hugs. I'm Bob, and I have a birthmark near my pee hole that makes it look like I have a double pee hole. Len. But I'm the one risking my life, right? Diving into a murky lake at night with nothing but a garden hose for air? I've said too much. I can trust you, right, Bob? Right? I don't got to worry about you, right? Just take You're it. not going to tell anyone, right? <laughs> take just it keep easy. it to yourself, okay? I won't tell anybody. Just tell, you know how you get. I, they're just golf balls. Out of things to talk about, and then next thing you're telling everybody that comes in here tell about you, what I got no going on. There's no reason to insult me right? when you're using <laughs> no, my dishwasher. Just, here, you know what? Just keep your mouth shut, okay? Uh, here's a little taste. Buy something nice for yourself. No, not team up. Yeah, come on, Bob. One last score, and then we're done. We're out. We're set for life. Teddy, right? I, I, well, I, no I looking back. I don't think so. What do you want to do, Bob? Work in this dead-end job the rest of your life? Flipping burgers? Teddy. You didn't exactly light the world on fire, Bob. Wait, you know what? what, I mean? what? No, it's great. You got a restaurant here, but come on. Keep going, Dad. You're almost at the water station. Oh, my God. Yay, Dad! You're pedaling like crazy and not getting anywhere, just like your life. Well, I came by to thank you. Because of you, I'm not going to let Tyler bother me anymore. Really? I decided I don't want to be like you. A 60-year-old man still battling his bully. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm not 60, by the way. But uh, I'm glad I could help. And you know something? I'm all right with Burger Boss having Bob Sucks on the leaderboard. Aww, I'm proud of you, Bobby. Yeah. Mm, come here. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're going to knock Bob Sucks off the leaderboard, right? I'm on it. Good. Just change it to Fat Bob. Mm. Dumb Bob works, too. All right, well, we'll go caroling around this neighborhood, and then we'll meet you back here, Bob. OK. Good luck losing, Dad. You're in your element. Do I uh, look all right? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing we can do about your face and your hair. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at Bob. Uh, in general, I mean, that's bad, right? His whole deal, ugh. Pay no attention to Bob, everybody. He's not smart. Ginger boom. He's also pear-shaped. Ginger boom. If a pear could be dumb and bad at things, <laughs> you know what I mean? A dumb mm -hmm. pear. Pears are the worst. Bob, I gotta say, your gingerbread scoring is exquisite. Oh, uh, thank you. You just gotta be firm but gentle. Show us. Um, okay. I don't think that's necessary. Party hit shush! Mm. Uh, so firm, but so gentle. Uh-huh. And does your big, fat belly get in the way, Bob? Um, no, it, it doesn't. And what about your body odor, Bob? Do you find that distracting? I mean, it's like your armpits threw up. Whoa. Oh, my. Uh, okay, easy. You smell like a stevedore's shorts. You smell like failure, like stinky failure farts. Guys, remember, at school, I'm Mr. Belcher, so treat me like you would any other substitute teacher. That means you get a mean nickname, and we assume you live a horribly depressing life. In this case, we know it's true. Bob, you're getting a nickname. Fun. Mr. Belt Stretcher? <laughs> Mr. Bowel Chair. No, Dr. Fart. Alfonso Poo Poo Fatty the Third. Hey, those are kind of all not very good. Mm, bowel Chair, pretty good.